It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Sarah McMahon and Misha Cupcake Tate. Well, if she is not the best ground and pound fighter in the women's game today. Give me another name, right? Because she has taken it to the next level. And more often than not, when she gets you down and starts throwing punches, referee's coming in shortly there. The referee jumping in to save her opponents has almost become yeah, uh, synonymous with yeah, her fights. It's the way that her fights in. She's beating him so badly that the ref has to jump in and save him. We have not seen anyone so good at ground and pound since Tatiana Suarez first into the UFC, and she has taken that to a whole nother level. Her ability to just control posture, control range, and land from anywhere from the top position is truly inspiring to watch. And not unlike you, she's got a mean streak. She told us in the oh. fighter meeting on Thursday, I'm about to give her some scars for life. So free souvenirs coming on the ground <laughs> if we get there tonight. Oh, to have high-level wrestling. I mean, I'm just so mad my parents never put me in wrestling as a kid. I guess I wasn't tough enough. It's the most beautiful thing in the world, and this is exactly what she does. She wants to go forward the moment the referee says fight. She'll walk you down, move into position. The moment you start to strike, she will change her level, get in on your legs, switch off to a double leg, run the pipe to sit you down to a single. It is amazing to watch the transition this young lady possesses in the wrestling. Only a lifetime of knowledge right. can lead you to being as good as she is in this specific skill. No, you put it well, when she gets you on the ground, all the best, right? Best of luck. Yeah, Shades not of Khabib Nurmagomedov when it comes to her ground It's control. unbelievable the way that she can follow and flow in the grappling exchanges. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a grappler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 9 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Misha Cupcake Tate. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 6 losses, and 1 no contest. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Gaffney, South Carolina. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, here we go with round one. Could be a real grinder, but I know for the king of the grind, that's not necessarily a bad thing. What do you think she needs to do against someone who respects is a mirror image of herself. A mirror image of herself, but who's gonna do it? Who's going to embrace that grind even further? Who's gonna... Wow! Oh, big left hook there! That was a jab! Leg kick. Nice punch by McMahon. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown game? 
Oh, that is a nice jab by her there, as your boy Rosendo Sanchez might say. That was clean. It was so clean. One of the, one of the best female fighters I've ever seen fight behind the jab is Joanna Young Jacek. She controlled people with a jab. Oh, nice jab. Ooh, what a punch. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy to me. Very busy, but also super accurate. She, she is catches on the leg and now reacts beautifully with a takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, she's got north-south position now on top. Is it just more a dominant ground control type of situation, or are you trying to work for a submission? You can hit the north-south too, which is you start to sag your weight away, drop your shoulder into their throat, and just really cut off the oxygen with, with the choke. It's a very difficult thing to finish, but if you're aware on your opponent's end, you weigh them down and wear them out. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by McMahon. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. McMahon, so she finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort earlier on, but cleaned up the technique a little bit, and now we'll see what she can do. She cleaned it up. She really did take her time back. She took a step back. She evaluated what's my best course of action. Figured it out, got it done. Now, how does she handle being on top with dominant top position? Round two is next. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? Change it up. Who's your strike it? Get her excited to exchange. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Good stick. Oh, she is good with that hook tonight. All right. Well, eventually she will turn this defense into offense, but she seems to see these strikes coming from a mile away. She sees them a mile away, and the hands are exactly where they're supposed to be, right on the chin. And they separate. Swing and a big miss by Tate. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting one, two. What about the one, two? McMahon gets the double leg takedown now. Nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big grounding pump. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her. McMahon's going for the sub here. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is. Door. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening, and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. Let's check out some of the action in that previous round. DC, she certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown.
So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. And we go inside the Ladies octagon. Bruce Buffer has Bob your Stop official Stop decision. Contest. A two minutes, 42 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Sarah McMahon. Well, really nice to see this young woman get a chance to exhale as she celebrates with her coaches. You've won world titles in two divisions, but you're not calling your shot the way she is. She said, I'm going to win this fight by submission, and it goes into the books just that way. That's so much confidence to put yourself out on the limb like that. Nobody is brave enough to say, I'm going to do it here, here, or here. She did exactly that, 